What is MetaMask? How to use it? The part of me that's always been interested in new technology saw the future without knowing exactly what was coming. And I was certain of one thing. With the rise in popularity of cryptocurrencies, everything else will eventually have to fall in line. I wasn't entirely sure what that would look like, but I knew it meant that we were entering a new and exciting phase of the internet. That's when I first started using MetaMask, an open source Ethereum wallet for your browser. I remember the feeling I had every time I successfully logged in. Many hours spent reading manuals, tutorials, and online guides later, eventually overcoming the technical hurdles. It was like I'd won this game where every level got increasingly difficult until I finally made it to the end, and it felt good to win. During those moments when nothing else mattered but that sense of victory. Welcome to the Metaverse Economy channel where we cover the intersection of blockchain technology and cryptocurrency. Today, we'll talk about MetaMask. I'm going to walk you through the basics of how it works. MetaMask is a platform that allows you to experience the full potential of Bitcoin and Ethereum, creating accounts, sending and receiving digital payments in one simple extension. And that's it. MetaMask lets you buy and spend cryptocurrencies on the web just as simply as a credit card. The best part, it all happens in your browser. So whether you're on a gaming site or a shopping site, you can pay with Ether, the cryptocurrency of Ethereum, without needing to go through a complicated process. It doesn't stop there either because MetaMask is a plugin. It can work with other browsers as well. The best part of all this, I decided to try it on my own and see what happened. So after verifying that I had some Ether in my Coinbase wallet, the wallet I'd use, I went ahead and installed MetaMask. But before we talk about the installation, let me get this straight. There's no need to worry about Ether prices fluctuating while you're using MetaMask. Because when you buy Ether through Coinbase, it will always be stored in your wallet. So you can do with it whatever you want. Send, spend, restore it. But back to MetaMask. So after installing MetaMask, I had the option of adding my wallet information, keys or file to make transactions even easier. And yes, anything you buy through MetaMask will be stored right in your browser without the need for worrying about data storage and security. And there's another great part about MetaMask. Since it works right in your browser, you don't even need to be signed into Google or Facebook. You can make cryptocurrency payments without sharing anything personal with the site you're visiting. That means no more worrying about data leaks. MetaMask immediately encrypts everything that goes across the internet. MetaMask goes as far as encrypting the site you're buying from, which means that even if someone got a hold of your data, there wouldn't be anything to see. In fact, as long as you don't save your password in MetaMask, you can make transactions without worrying about anything. But why is all this important? It's because on the web, everything we do leaves a track. MetaMask gives you back control of your data and lets you decide what gets seen and what stays private. And that's not all. While browsing with MetaMask enabled, I noticed that my laptop fan would sometimes start running. I immediately checked Task Manager, but nothing was out of the ordinary. So I brushed it off and continued with my browsing. But after researching further, I found out what was going on. To protect users from hackers, MetaMask has a security feature that stops your laptop's central processor when you visit a site that's been flagged as a bad actor. In other words, if someone tries to hack your computer while visiting a website with MetaMask, you'll be safe. Because even though the hacker will get access to your data, he won't be able to do anything because your central processor is locked. And that's not all. MetaMask also keeps your wallet safe by automatically locking if you haven't used it in a while. So even if someone got a hold of your password, they wouldn't be able to do anything with it. You can set up MetaMask to lock after five minutes or one hour. And most importantly, you can turn MetaMask off easily and quickly. But there's another reason I like using MetaMask. Browsing the web has never been easier. Since everything is stored locally in my browser, there's no need to wait for pages to load because data must be downloaded from faraway servers. Every time I visit a page, it works just as quickly as when I'm on my laptop with no internet connection at all. So overall, I would recommend trying MetaMask if you haven't done so already. It's free, takes just a few minutes to set up, and gives you full control over your data. And it's not like you'll need to wait. MetaMask is available for Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, and Opera. And all of this is thanks to the Ethereum blockchain. The Ethereum blockchain is a publicly available ledger that stores and executes smart contracts for those of you who don't know. Smart contracts are like regular programs, except they're designed to automatically execute when certain conditions are met, making them ideal for running decentralized applications on the blockchain. In other words, decentralized applications work without anyone needing to control the code, and MetaMask is a great example of one. It makes using decentralized applications more user-friendly, which in turn encourages more people to use the blockchain. So now that you know what the blockchain is, go out there and start using it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to write a comment down below.
See you next time.